Hi guys, welcome back to Etheric Tide. This is Lauren and we're doing our monthly tarot scope for June 2020 and we are on to Virgo, which is represented by the Hermit in the Major Arcana of the Tarot. So let's see what we got for Virgo. Love my Virgos. Animal lovers, nature lovers. I have a... I have a moon in Virgo. Oh, I saw I saw a card. I'm gonna see if it comes out in the actual reading, but we'll put it back in. But if it's meant to come out, it'll come out again. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, there it is. Page of Cups. Okay, alright. Alright, so Page of Cups, he's got himself a little fish in a cup there. I mean, this is usually where somebody is offering something to us that's not really at the level we want it to be. It's like, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this and you're like a little bit dissatisfied because you're like, dude, that's a fish in a cup. I mean, I like you and all, but you're offering me a fish in a cup and you're like, I kind of wanted a chalice filled with like the most delicious water I've ever tasted and it's just going to be bountiful and overflowing and uh, just like re re an amazing resource that never ends. Um, but you're giving me a fish in a cup. And it's, it, it is kind of that feeling of, of disappointment. Um, and, I mean, they're well-intentioned. They, they have, this is the best that they can kind of offer. And it, it is that kind of that feeling of, like, the person isn't capable right now of offering you any more than what they're offering and you you wish they were and really when someone does this I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some more to clarify this because I mean this can apply to uh, the workplace as well as um, friendships and relationships yeah okay so this is the Queen of Wands Queen of Wands knows her worth. She's she's a pretty valuable commodity. She's a queen. She's a queen of fire. She has her kitty cat there, and she and I mean like Virgo. Um, just want to bring up the cats. Like for some reason, uh, all the Virgos I know love cats. <laughs> so. Um, it's kind of like you draw upon your own inner strength a lot and very rarely do you draw upon the strength of other people in order to bolster you up. You, you're kind of like really, it's, it's a really great quality that I find in Virgos where they, they don't need a lot of praise from from other people in order to um to motivate them and they yeah they they tend to draw upon their own independent resource i mean like they're represented by the hermit um that's why they're okay with being alone they're okay with just getting on with things by themselves and if somebody's offering them less than what they deserve, they kind of stop for a second and they sigh and they're like, well, I, there's nothing I can do for you because you need to be better. <laughs> um, and that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Like you, you've kind of gotten to this point where you're like, well, I've kind of gone through this, so I've kind of done my do's and had the relationships, had my learnings, and now you're offering me this, and it's and it's just not good enough anymore for me because I've I've done the work, and um, 
So I feel as though a lot of you are going to be offered something and it could even be like that someone offering you a job that just doesn't suit you anymore. But the judgment card, <laughs> judgment card has come up for a lot of, a lot of signs um, and I'm not surprised because of all the retrogrades. Generally, judgment comes up when somebody from our past comes back around, As particularly if we have moved on, particularly where we've made some progress energetically and spiritually. So I believe that for some of you, there is going to be somebody that is going to contact you and they may want to reconnect. It's just going to be a very, in a very weak way. Um, it's not going to prove to you that they've necessarily changed. And I think that you're going to decide that you're not going to give them another chance to, um, to show you that they've changed um, be because what they're offering is showing you that they haven't changed. Uh, and I know that's kind of, um, yep, yeah, awesome. So this is the card that um, came out in the pre-shuffle. And I'm like, oh, if it's going to show up, it's going to show up again. So um, the star card. And this one is about being really aligned with who you are. Like tapping into the divine, tapping into like your soul and... Um, whatever you'd like to call it, your inner self, your inner being, your higher self, um, being, s s I mean, these two cards, what a power, Virgo, you, you haven't going to have a good June, like, when it comes to, like, valuing yourself, June is your month, and you're going to surprise yourself with how, badass you're going to be where somebody's going to come in and they're going to realize that you're doing better maybe they like slip into your dms uh because they saw a picture of you with somebody and realize that you're happy and you're doing good now and they're going to try and like reconnect with you again and you're going to surprise yourself by going that's right, I am doing better. I am doing great. I'm doing awesome because I know myself. I understand what I need and I understand what I deserve and I'm fulfilling those things myself. And unless you can match me, if you can match me, sure, come right in. Come right into my awareness. Come right into my reality and be in connection with me. But if you're giving me a fish in the cup, I'm just, what I can give myself is better. So, um, I think that, I think that's what is going to happen for you. You're going to realize that what you have is better than whatever anybody else can offer you. And what a wonderful place to be. So, good luck with that, Virgo. Damn, what a good month June is going to be for you. If you would like a reading, details are down the bottom. Like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great June. Bye.